Hi, this is Anne with a real quick anagram in service to um, this week's task to being able to imitate style. Um, I think we've done this before, but um, a couple of questions I'm getting indicates to me that either we haven't gone through this in detail or that everybody just needs a reminder. So um, we're going to use the dev tools in the console, the dev console to look at a page. So um, the assignment here is to have five chunks of text, what's called lorem ipsum text, and read your, read your slides to figure that part out, and then be able to find and imitate the styles on a particular page. So let me go to that page. And um, what we want to be able to do is create text where we have regular paragraphs, and then we have these paragraphs that are highlighted or what I'd I'd say called out. And in order to do that, what I've asked you to do is um, find and imitate the style that's being used on this page. So anytime you want to see what style is being applied, what you need to do is inspect the element. Um, now I'm doing that by a right click on my Windows machine. It would be a command click on a Mac, or you can always go up to your menu and go to web developer um, web console or inspector okay um, i generally just go right click inspect element okay and oftentimes that gets me to someplace on the page and i need to look at something fairly something more specific first i'm going to close the door because the owly cat's out there hang on one second Okay, the Owly Cat has been closed out, and we're here on this page, and we're gonna just take a look at, um, at finding different styles. Now, probably this is a header, um, but we wouldn't know if it was an H2 or an H1 unless we looked. So I'm going to, even though I have my console window open on the right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and ask to inspect that specific element. And we'll see here, that it's an H2, and then you can see the content, and note that it's actually, um, that, oh, that's interesting, that the picture <laughs> is part of that heading, and in fact is also a, no, is not a length, um, but who would have guessed that this picture was part of that heading? I would not have. Um, so, that's fine. Um, one of the things we're going to do soon is look at box model and we'll spend a bunch more time on this page. But um, one of the things you can do for any element here is not only find out what element type it is, but look here at in this part of the console to look at what styles have been applied. So what font size is it? 30 pixels. What font family? PT Sans. Um, font weight, uh, that's more specific than your basic bold or whatever, okay? And if we come down here, we can see some other styles being applied to it. So when I talk about imitating a style, I talk about going down and trying to figure out something that is specific. In this case, um, see if I look at a paragraph, okay, um, that paragraph, is a paragraph element, okay? And it has the same font family, but a different weight, um, a different, might be a different color, different line height, etc. Now, none of those are what I'm asking you to imitate. What I'm asking you to imitate is this area in here. So if we right click on this and inspect that specific area, Okay, we can see a couple of things. Um, the text is in a paragraph, but the, if we look at, at this, that seems to be styling being applied to something that holds both of these paragraphs. And indeed, there's a block quote element that holds both of those paragraphs. Your elements will only have one paragraph, so you can, um, probably just put your text inside the block quote without par separate paragraphs. 
And then if we look at that, Okay, if you go down here and you begin to look in this area for the styles that are being applied, you should be able to spot the element that is making this line. Okay, so all I'm asking is for you to have five paragraphs. Um, three of them are styled, one, three, and five are styled basically like this, and two and four have this vertical bar. Okay, and they're indented. So um, give that a shot. Use your inspector. Be sure to look all the way up and down here to get the various styles that you need. And that should get you on your way to this assignment.